Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of DE News Roundup. This week we pay tribute to one of the most recognizable icons, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Tragically, it suffered a massive fire and lost its spire and a good portion of its roof. Now thoughts turn to reconstruction. Being of French nationality, Bernard Charles, the CEO of Dassault Systems, is quite close to the Notre Dame, both literally and figuratively. The company's headquarters is only about 45 minutes away by car from the 800-year-old Gothic cathedral. During the fire, he tweeted his sadness about what he was witnessing. He is now also pledging to offer support in the reconstruction efforts by donating technologies from his firm. Dassault Systems is known for the 3D Experience platform, which encompasses software such as Catia, Dalmia, Enovia, and Simulia for design and simulation. In the reconstruction process, a detailed 3D model of the cathedral could speed up many of the drafting, drawing, and planning sessions. One such detailed model is to be found in the game Assassin's Creed Unity, published by Ubisoft. The game lets you travel back in time to the eve of the French Revolution to accomplish certain missions. In the game's settings, the Notre Dame Cathedral looms large in the backdrop. Game artists design the level with such painstaking details that you can experience the majesty of the interior, including how light streams through stained glass windows. The game publisher Ubisoft is also pledging to donate £500,000 for the reconstruction of the cathedral. Another point cloud model of the cathedral is at Vassar College thanks to the hard work of the late Professor Andrew Talon. Talon specialized in medieval architecture and he did extensive laser scanning of some structures, including the Notre Dame. Some of his point cloud models can still be seen at his project website. Professor Talon passed away late last year. Now his work, along with the Ubisoft game level designer's model, may very well become the reference to restore and rebuild the fire-damaged cathedral. Siemens PLM Software, a competitor to Dassault Systems that we have just mentioned above, has recently released an update to its Kineo software suite for robotic simulation. The latest version, Kineo 7.0, includes trajectory simulation in Kineo Works, improved cable retraction simulation with Kineo flexible cables, and better performance in Kineo Collision Detector, among other things. The software is used in automotive, aerospace, energy, shipbuilding, and manufacturing industries to simulate and analyze robotic activities, digital mock-ups, and assembly and disassembly procedures. Autodesk University is still seven months away, roughly. This year is set for November 19 to 21st. But the show is already calling for papers and presentations. You can start submitting your proposals for papers and presentations and ideas beginning April 30th. The organizers are seeking submissions for classes, a workflow, or a particular software skill you can teach. These classes are from 60 to 90 minutes. You can also submit a 15-minute presentation for an inspirational story about leadership, about the future of industry, and so on. If your paper, presentation, or proposal is accepted, it means your conference pass will be free. Either way, if you're attending, we will see you there. This is a show that DE editors usually cover. For more design and engineering-related news, go to Digital Engineering 24-7. And also check out our YouTube channel titled DE Streaming. That is all the news for this week. Until next time, wishing you a wonderful weekend. I am Kenneth Wong, Senior Editor for DE, signing off.